Hey everybody and welcome to FreeCiv Web. This is the online version of FreeCiv, as you may know, which is a turn-based strategy, empire building sort of game. I, I've done a couple of Let's Plays in the past, um, but I've gotten uh, several questions about getting started and getting into the game. So this is that video. This is the, how do I play FreeCiv? Here you go. This is it. So this is uh, the main front page, which we're at play.freeCiv.org, which I should say, uh, of course, you play on your browser, but you can also play on your iPhone, Android, or tablet, which is which is fantastic, if you ask me. Um, but anyways, if we want to play a game, we go to single player. Uh, there's also scenarios, which we'll get that we'll get that later. So let's go to single player. And if we just want to play a game, uh, we don't care about setting anything up. We just want to play a game. Then you hit single player, and then you hit start game. Put your name in, hit start game. Uh, if you want to customize some things, then we hit customize game. And when we're in here, this is where, on the settings tab up here at the top, this is where we will choose how many AI we have. For instance, we can go up to 32, I believe, is still the max, if we want to have a lot of people. Um, the other thing is map size, which is going to be something you want to mess with, maybe. Uh, map size 5, this is in thousands of tiles, which doesn't really mean much to anybody, but a map size 5 is a pretty standard map for like 8 to 10 sieves. Maybe 12 you can cram into there, maybe. Um, I would say 8 or 10. But if you want more sieves, then you can crank that up to more size. And uh, you'll notice as I increase the size, the uh, the specials doesn't change. What specials is is resources. So if you have a bigger map, you're going to want more resources. And uh, of course, tech level or skill level, which there's a new one called cheating, which I have not tried yet. I'm going to have to do that. Uh, land mass is your the percentage of the map that is covered in land. So if you want more Pangea, you go higher. If you want more islands, you go lower. And uh, the, there's one thing I want I, I would recommend you change, and that is the minimum distance between cities. It's right now default to two. However, the AI uh, uses that two a little too much. It, it just crams as many towns as it possibly can on top of each other, uh, sharing borders. So I would recommend at three. That is, uh, it, it helps the AI play a little bit smarter. And... Um, Anything else we have in here? Score graphs is new. Which we'll check that out in a second. Uh, map generator. This is going to be what kind of map you want. Fully random height is just completely random. Pseudo fractal, which would be something more like a Earth-like, where you have uh, a couple big continents or a few big continents, two two large land masses. Uh, island base. We know what that is. Fair islands means many islands, I think. And uh, so there you go. There's that's how you set a game up. That's it. Once we're done, we're done. Uh, the most important part, however, we have not picked our nation, which is very important. And uh, we go in here and find the one with the best flag, which will be someone like, I don't know, just pick whoever you want. Gork, Goptuk, Old Turkic, Turk, Turkic, Cognit, Cognit, was ruled. Okay, we're gonna be them because I have a wolf. Uh, but anyway, so we, so it's us versus um. Oh, it is 8 AI. Oh, no, I added one. So versus 8 AI. So once we're ready, we start the game. Welcome, Nook, ruler of the Gokturk. Gokturk? I cannot say the word. I can't say the word. Um, this gives us a little bit of help. We start with, uh, it even tells you, uh, start by exploring with your explorer. Use your settlers to find a good place to build a city. Right-click with the mouse on your units for a list of available orders. Good luck and have lots of fun. So, yeah, we begin with, with five units. Um, oh, check it out. We got fish and gold. This is a fantastic starting point. I'm sorry I won't be playing this game fully. But uh, all of our orders we can see down here. We can also right click on it and it'll tell us whatever we want to do with him. We want to build a city. Let's build a city. So, yeah, settlers in here also work as workers. They can do both. So, we build Suyab. I guess this is a Turkish people. I guess. I don't know. Um, first look here we have this is our name plate on our, our city. We have our, our awesome flag. Three stars is uh, how many units are in the town. Uh, a minimum of three. There's means there's three or more, because three stars is as many as you're gonna get. Which that's correct because we have uh, we have five in there. I guess no, we have four. We have four in there. Right. Um, name of a town, size one city, and we are building warriors at the moment. If we want to change what we are doing, we will hit right click and go to show city. And this is our city screen. So first off, uh, this is our one guy. He's one content citizen. What we are working right now, we're working on a shield square, which is a grassland tile, these darker green ones. It's a grassland tile that is actually providing one extra... It's actually providing 
and extra uh, food. So as you can see, shields are good. And we also have a buffalo over here, which is that better? Uh, more production, but not more food. We want food early on. So we can adjust that if we want. Uh, the game does a pretty good job of keeping an eye on it for you. Um, as for production, there is a production button down here. This is our production queue, which uh, which is, if you've played Master of Orion, this is a, kind of a similar thing where we have, uh, the, we're making warriors right now. If we want to add to our queue, we can just double click it. Or we can click it and, why is it bouncing around? I guess it shouldn't move around. Click it and add to work list. That also works. If you want to change what you are producing, say we want to build a barracks first off, we hit barracks, change production. There we go. But that would be silly. So let's build warriors first. So there you go. That's that's how you produce. I don't have any trade routes yet, of course. You can have up to two per city uh, until later in the game and you get more. But there you go. Um, explorers do some exploring. Settlers do some settling. And then we have workers, which uh, we'll, we go over here and we can irrigate things. Uh, one trick, shift, enter is turn done. Or you can just click the button. Um, let's run through some of these buttons here. We have government, which can change our tax rate if we want, which I think we're fine. Science is as high as it goes. When we be, we find monarchy, we will do that. Uh, there should be none of these just yet. Research. Research tree. So it gives you a little pictures, which kind of helps you figure out what is on the thing. If you ever are lost, you can click on mysticism, which I think gives you, right, this gives you, like, what mysticism is. But once we get mysticism, it'll lead to astronomy and philosophy. But you can see what it is. So like map making gives you a trireme and the great lighthouse. Code of laws gives you a courthouse. Currency gives you a marketplace. And uh, this is our queue. So say we want to rush to monarchy. Where's monarchy? Where is it? Um, it's over here. Am I not seeing it? Monarchy. Well, there's a republic. Let's do the republic. So we can click the Republic, and it'll go ahead and light up what we got to get to get to the Republic. Am I blind? Why don't I see Monarchy? Monarchy. There it is! Monarchy. So, Alphabet, Ceremonial Burial, it's Code of Laws, then Monarchy. And it'll do it all for us. So, uh, there you go. Um, nations, this is all who is in the game. There's us and our eight uh, enemies. We have um, the Latin nation we have the persian nation japanese so once we meet them we can talk to them and uh, we'll do that in a second you can also save the game uh it has to be on if you save the game it has to be played on that computer it has to be loaded on that computer and uh, don't clear your cache that's the only thing so you save the game once you come back in on that main screen you hit load game and then it'll bring it up for you but, uh, yeah, that's the basics of the game. I have started a game already. So we can see a little bit more of the, um, of the, uh, diplomacy. So this is when I started. I'm, we're at what, uh, we're, we're at 2000 BC. And we've got four towns down here. We are, who are, we're, uh, the Welsh. And, uh, we've met, we have the Cherokee over here. Who are you? Who's green? You are Avar. I'm not sure who Avar is either. We've also we actually met most of these people. This is a fractal map, which is um, I'm not sure if everyone's on one continent and then there's an empty continent out there. I'm not really sure, but uh, this is a size five map, so you can kind of give you an idea how big the map is with size five. Anyways, let's have a chat with uh, Norway. So Magnus. We're going to click on him on the Nations tab, and we're going to meet the player. So there he goes. Magnus, we want... How about a peace treaty? That's not a good deal for you? What? You can see, always keep this window, an eye on this window. This tells you a little bit of everything that you're doing. So we met with Magnus. He wants... Oh, I wish to see you keep the current ceasefire for a bit longer first. Nook. So he wants to be at ceasefire for longer before he agrees to anything else. Fine, Magnus. So anyways, that's well, that's how you do it anyways. Um, if you want to do, I should show you a little bit more. Um, do I not know the Pope? I don't know the Pope. All right, there's a question mark there. I don't know the Pope yet. Um, I did? What happened to him? I thought I knew him. So let's meet with uh, the Sioux. 
and I'll show you some more. So th that was how we did a, 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 a treaty. If we want to say trade tech, they may not have writing. No, they don't. So then you would, I'm going to give them, I will give you bronze working. If you give me a map. No, they think it's a bad idea. I think it's a good idea. How about, okay, so get rid of the map. How about you give me a city? No, it's a bad deal. <laughs> okay. All right, never mind. All right, so that's that's the game. I don't know if there's any more else I can show you um, without playing the game for you. Um, one thing to always remember, you can always middle click on something if you're questioning what it does for you. So we middle click on this, this jungle fruit, and uh, this will give us four food, zero production, one trade if we if we work it. Which it is doing. It's four minus one. It's minus one because of, uh, I think it has to do with our um, uh, government. So there you go. We can also look in here and look at our production. We are working on a granary at the moment. Uh, next time, what are we doing here? Are you a little bit further along? Yeah. So a temple's coming up. We got a phalanx and workers coming behind there. If we want to buy something, we just hit the buy button. It will buy the thing that is in the production menu. So temple for 50 bucks. Treasury contains 70, 76. Sure. I'll buy a temple. So next turn, we will have a temple. So yeah, that is the game. Um, oh, one thing I wanted to show. Game scores. This is new. I want to show it off. This is uh, a graph system. I mentioned Master of Orion before. This is Master of Orion as well. Um, we can see, just at a glance, we can see everyone's score. This is an option you can turn on or off at the beginning of the game. I think you saw the button. And we can see that I am doing terrible. What am I doing down here? <laughs> uh, we can see uh, population, which that's what's killing me. Population. I don't think I have any wonders either. Does anyone have any wonders? No. But you can go through all these tabs and you can kind of see how you're doing. Um, and also, you can use it as a bit of an advantage. Look, I have I have five units. Old, uh, Milos here has zero. Oh, I don't know who Milos is. Is that why he's at zero? No, he just doesn't have any. All right. So there you go. That's free sieve. If you have any questions, um, the developer of the game is really easy to get a hold of. Uh, there's a forum here. Let's go check out the forum. Yeah, leave this page. Okay, so uh, here's the forum at the very top. You're at the main page here, freesiv.org. Play.freesiv.org. We can go to the forum. And it's pretty simple to get a hold of the developer here. If you have a question, just throw it in there. And he will easily... Or you can also put it in the video, in the comment in the video. I will try to answer it. I've played the game a bit. Um, as I said before, I've gotten a couple of Let's Plays done of this. I'll probably do a few more in the future. Um, I'll put some links to those if you'd like to check out a full game of this. But uh, that is it. So thanks again for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, just let me know. Uh, we'll see you next time.